So I made this ring and I'll show you guys how I made it all from scratch And if I can get it to work, I'll be giving it away at the end of the video so you guys can give sponsored by Squarespace. So I have this cast iron pan and a candle and some grocery bags, a lighter, baby powder, and kitty litter. And that's the main ingredients to make this ring. I, You'll see. We're going to figure out trying to make this work. Uh, Yeah, looks good. So first thing, what we're going to do is make some wax, like a lost cast wax in some sand. So I just have this bucket. It's not a bucket. It's a something to melt the pan uh, yeah it's a pan and we're melting a candle oh like shit it's cause it is so after I almost burned down the entire studio cause of the sticker on the bottom of the candle we just melted it all the way down and we're gonna add some grocery bags to it this is hopefully gonna make that wax just a little bit stronger so that it won't be so fragile and can like sit in the sand and be nice and strong so add some grocery bags let it melt mixed it up and mix it up more add some green food coloring because i thought that could be fun it didn't really mix super well but i mean it's a little it's a little green i guess and with that I tested on to see how hard it was it's kind of strong but i think it needed to be a little bit like less waxy and more plasticky so more paper bags and by paper bags i mean grocery bags this has a hole in the bottom of it, so we that's not going to work, so we switch it out. <laughs> You're going to use this to make the little, like, molds, or like the solid piece of wax to carve out. So I put that in that old pan, and I threw that pan into a fridge. And I made an extra one out of just, like, a tape <laughs> and back of, like, cardboard. And this came in handy. You'll see why later, because I also added some glue sticks to hopefully, like, sturdy up the, the wax. And we'll see how it works. So that thing's all cool. Just dumped it on out. That's a old hand ring model template guide thing that I had. So I cut this out so that I could. Oh, I broke it. But I just broke it so it was just big enough for that. And then I shaved her on down. Want to make it nice and thin. Use some sandpaper. I should have just used like a melting plate. Uh, and then I put it back on there. And we're just gonna shape out the ring. And I just used a little exacto knife to get all the little details and carved it on out. And yeah, it took not as long. I, this is, I think, the third. No, let's see, four, one, two, three, five. This is the sixth time I've done this, so I feel like I'm getting pretty quick. But I carved it out, and then just went into the details. And that's me just focusing so hard to get this ring nice. And yeah, looks good. So with that, time to make the sand that we're going to cast it in. Like we're going to press it in and then pour hot melt molten silver into it. So I just took some kitty litter and this has clay in it. And that's what's going to like hold the form. Like if you had like a sand castle, if you had a dry sand castle, it wouldn't hold. But if you had a wet sand castle and it was clay, that's going to hold its shape. Yeah, cool. So we do that and then we filter it so that it's nice and fine so they can hold more detail. I took some sand and did the same thing and just filtered it through this, I think this is a tea thing for to make tea, but I just wanted to get it as fine as possible and that's wetted it all up. And because of that clay, it holds the moisture a little better than just sand alone. And so the nice little sand clay mixture and made sure it's pretty wet. I, it was a little too wet, you'll see, but I took it out and with that, that's good to go. So I'm uh, trying to move the wax ring thing I'd broken half. So I just lit up some of the old wax. Let's put it on and mushed it together and good. So I baby powdered the bottom, put down another thing of tape, mushed that on in there. So nice and flat, baby powdered it more. I'm thinking that should work. Flipped it on top of the ring. And just kind of hammered it into place, trying to get all the nooks and crannies filled flipped over and we should be able to take this out theoretically and it should leave a nice little impression that we can then put lava hot molten silver into it 
and it should have a perfect little it didn't uh, i think the sand was too wet or like the mixture was maybe a little like too clay or too sandy one of them too so i dried it up and it was still kind of shit it was still kind of shit put more baby powder on top of it let it dry out even more just because over time that's kind of how sand works it just dries a little bit more over time that time pressed it heat up some tweezers so i could stick them into the back of that and lift it up nice and smooth like and yeah that's not too bad so now to melt this silver i took an old hand ring and then tried to melt it on this cast fire cast iron frying pan it looked pretty cool but it didn't work so added a second flame but even that didn't work so i ordered a little crucible and like some little silver nuggets think that maybe that if I did that that could help me melt some silver so I took the old one added some more of those nuggets in there and we just went ham me and a couple of my buddies and some torches just torching the thing as much as we can but it still didn't work We're like maybe we'll melt some aluminum and that didn't work and so I'm like all right just proof of concept this let's just get some solder no solder is gonna melt so we just melted some solder Nice and liquidy, pour it on in. Yeah, let it cool off. Nice. Nice and cool, we can dig it out. Oh, it was real hard, real crusty. I guess that clay and sand did, did kind of cement, so that's cool. And you know what, it looks pretty good. That would actually be really workable if it were silver and not solder. I don't even know if that's lead free. Just like wearing lead on your finger. That could be, that sounds safe, sounds safe. <sighs> so I, I made a second one, but it didn't really work and the mold broke. So luckily I had that second wax thing. So I think this might be the longest relationship I've ever had. I uh, I love them so much. I, you know, I want them to take them camping. Everywhere I go, I want them next to me and, and they are. And, and no matter where I am, they, they're there to help. They listen to me, they get me, my needs. They make me a better person. And I think they can make you a better person too. So you should definitely use them. Okay, Squarespace, love them to death. I honestly think I've been with Squarespace for like 10 years now. And for reals, they're just always like refreshing things. They have all these new features. One of them is that you can like update your website from your phone. So literally anywhere you go, you can update your website. The fact that they're constantly changing and updating things is, is super nice. And really every aspect of my business, they kind of make it better. And you can actually make a free website today by going to the link in the description. It's www.squarespace.com backslash mood. No credit card needed. And then when you do decide to purchase something, remember the coupon code SHMOOD to get 10% off your first purchase. All right, so that didn't work, making that ring. Um, so what I did is I have my buddy Scott James, I called him up. He is super talented, silversmith, jeweler creator, all of the above. He's actually helped me out in a couple pinches. He helped me get this ring made. Um, and we're gonna go see if he can't help us uh, kinda make the work. I carved up another wax ring, like another wax thing out of a, I made two of those. The extra, I made an extra little wax mold and I carved out another ring. So we're gonna take that to him and see what we can do. Also, look him up on Instagram, it's super talented. It's James Scott, it's Scott James Jewelry. And you can see all, all the stuff that he's made. He made like this little like spider. He, he lost wax, cast a spider and it's so cool and like so delicate. Um, but yeah, so we're gonna head there.
so got to Scott's and immediately the wax broke on him and he fixed it the wax was real like we might as well just buy like the real wax it's way better <laughs> but it worked it, for what this is it worked we did it and then he brushed on which was genius some baby powder pressed into the sand casting thing I don't know what it's called you can't wait for the comments in this video they're gonna be all over the place for all you who know how to sand cast shit anyways so he got all done got it pressed and we took it out and made a pretty good impression so with that he has an actual torch that melts silver nice and easy like we dumped it on in which i need to get that torch so i feel like if i would have had that honestly the kitty litter method would have worked <laughs> but anyways washed it on off saw it off your ooh i forgot what that's called comments are gonna go crazy can't wait and just grind it off all of the lumps and bumps and start to kind of dial in some of the details and then just paint it on with some yeah, sulfur and bent it and with that i mean we we got a nice little ring i'm actually really stoked with how this hand ring turned out especially with how <laughs> ghetto the process was um I'm gonna get a one of those torches that can melt silver and do this again. So I actually really love like the rough look of it. And like I said, I am giving this ring away. You guys can sign up for the giveaway just on my website. I'll put a little tag there. Uh, but it's schmoo.com giveaways. Oh, and also Scott made this. This is a new design that came out, I think just this week. This little sunburst with the turquoise in it. it looks so rad. And he was nice enough to give me one and I can give that away as well. This one, he said any size. The the hand ring, I mean, it is adjustable, so I can kind of adjust it down to whatever size and as big as you want, but yeah. So go sign up and cool. All right, love you, bye. All right, so be sure to like and subscribe go ahead and hit that bell notification and yeah